All right. This is where the TT has brought us today. You can see clear over to Eagle Point. Mount McLaughlin way over there. We're up on the back side of China Gulch. It's a long ways down, man. I'd hate to wreck off of that sucker. But yeah, we're way up here. Kind of smoky today. It must be burning slash someplace. There's an old mine way over there. Way over there. A lot of mushroom pickers out. But I haven't seen anybody with anything major. I personally haven't seen one out here running around, but of course I'm running around here at 65, 70 miles an hour a lot of the time. But I imagine if they were around, I'd see one or two by now. One guy came back with a four in a bucket and that was it. Uh-uh, I don't see nothing. Heard something though. I don't know what it was. My arms are getting tired. Need to get that TT out more and uh, get some exercise, huh? It's hard man in that thing around those corners at those speeds in that deep gravel. You either got to go slow or freaking go fast and pitch it sideways like I'm doing with the throttle. Otherwise you got to go slow because the gravel will pull you over to the edge of the road. And you don't want to go over the edge around here. It's a long ways down. see a couple of old clear cuts up over there I was done with yarders those patches over there on the hillside with no trees we don't practice clear cutting anymore but I'm just up here on the side of the mountain taking a break on the TT so like a good place to stop and show you guys the view Some madrone trees growing right here on the side of the road. Baby madrones. Right there. A whole lot of madrone up here. <laughs> Amongst these sugar pines. That peak you can see, that little white stub sticking out way over there. Probably won't be able to see it on the video, but that's Crater Lake, right there. It's a long ways over there. From here, it's like, that's at least 60, 65 miles, at least. The, the Mount McLaughlin's closer. You can see that from pretty much anywhere in the Rogue Valley almost though. It's a big mountain. Haven't been up there in years. There should be snow up on that all year this year, I think. Maybe. We're gonna find out. Usually by June, it's looking pretty bare. The other side usually has snow on it all year round because it only gets the morning sun. This side gets the afternoon sun, which melts more snow. 
But I'll tell you what, you wouldn't know it was springtime up there. It still snows every time a rainstorm comes through over there. It just snowed up there the other day, like two days ago. Yeah, this this place up here is part of the reason they don't uh, make those Yamaha side by sides like they used to. A couple of firefighters from Jacksonville come up here, and one uh, this is I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, and it was actually just over on the back side of this peak here. They came to a spot where they had to turn around, and it was like this, but there was no trees or nothing, and they and they rolled that thing all the way to the bottom, and it killed them both. And there was a big lawsuit against Yamaha over that. They got sued. I don't remember exactly what happened over it, but I do know that Yamaha paid out a big settlement. A big, big settlement. But it really wasn't Yamaha's fault. I mean, oh, there's a rabbit. A rabbit took off. It's all kinds of wildlife up here. I don't know if it got turkey earlier come up out in the video or not, but there was a big old turkey. You never know what you'll see up here, but I'm going to go ahead and turn you guys off.